Let me show you how we made this using Firefly Image 3 and After Effects. Let's dive into it. All right, so I have my clip here in After Effects. I have to make a still frame of this, so I'll go to Composition, Save Frame As, File. And that's gonna make a PSD, so I'll bring that into Photoshop to make a JPEG. And now I'll jump over to firefly.adobe.com, link is down below, and I'll add my prompt, and I'll hit Generate. So in my settings here on the left, you could see I'm using Firefly Image 3, aspect ratio will be 16 by nine, and down in the structural reference section, I'll hit upload image and I'll upload my screenshot. So what structural reference does is it takes the actual structure of your scene and based on your prompts, you could transform the scene while maintaining the same structure, which allows for some pretty crazy compositing. Anyway, I have my structural reference. And before I generate, I'll select a few of the effects down here. And now I'll hit generate. Now these examples are good, but I'd like to make it more of a photograph to match my video. So I'll select photo instead of art and I'll hit generate again. Okay, very nice. I'll use this one. So I'll download that and bring it into Photoshop with my original image. And I'm gonna select around my subject here using the selection tool. So with that selection, I'll reveal my Firefly layer and I'll delete that section. And I'll actually remove the foreground parts as well. Now it looks a little sloppy, but we have to blend our layers together. So I'll go to layer, merge visible, and I'll select the edges of my two layers where my two layers meet. And I'll hit delete. So with that alpha part still selected, I'll expand my selection by a pixel or two. Now hit generative fill, and I'll leave a blank and hit generate. And it blends these in really nice. So I just wanted to show you quick before I bring this back into After Effects, I just isolated part of the mountain here as a separate layer and I added a couple of foreground elements just to sell the effects. So bringing this into After Effects as a composition, I'll bring this right into my comp. Looks great. Now I have to motion track my video layer. So I'll go to Animation, Track in Boris FX Mocha and I'll click on the Mocha icon. And now in Mocha, I'll select the X Spline tool and I'll roughly select my mountain top here. Once I have that selected, I'll select show surface and align surface to make the output the same size of my comp. I'll unselect skew because we don't need that and track forward. And I'll speed this up for you. You can see the track looks really good. And I'll save this and go back to After Effects. And I'll drop down tracking data and I'll click create track data. Hit OK. And layer export two, I'll select my PSD layer and I'll hit apply export. So before I show the final result, I added a couple of moving elements like this fan and some dust particles, and I made sure to hide the PSD layers that I don't need. And here it is.